Here we're going to learn how to add leads to our Augutech predictive dollar system. Now, the first thing we want to make sure is that we're logged into the admin interface where it says uh, lists. So you go to lists, we're going to hit add a new list. Now make note that uh, it's very important that if your leads are in CSV format, you want to be using Internet Explorer because they tend to have issues when you're loading leads uh, when you're mapping your fields with Firefox. If you're insistent on using Firefox or any other browser, um, please make sure that your leads are saved in tab or text tab delimited uh, format. Otherwise, you will have issues. So we're going to go to lists. We're going to create a new list. List ID has to be a number. So we're going to choose 101, an arbitrary number here. We can name the list whatever we'd like. So I'm going to call this test list. List description, again, is uh, arbitrary. We don't have to put anything in there. It's, it's only there to provide further explanation of what these lists, uh, what these leads are about. The campaign, you can choose the drop-down menu of which campaign we'd like to attach this list to. So we're going to attach it to the campaign we've created, 101, test 1. And we're going to set active to yes, hit submit, and we've just created our new list. Now you'll notice within this list, We've got zero leads loaded in here. So what we need to do now is load new leads by clicking on the top where it says load new leads. It'll take us to this window here. We're going to choose the file that we'd like to upload. Again, if we're choosing uh, CSV, we've got to be in Internet Explorer. Otherwise, we're going to use tab delimited. So since I do have uh, the file in the correct cor uh, format here, I'm going to choose browse, go to my leads folder, choose the list I'd like to use and hit open. Now the list ID override is going to be the list ID that I'm adding my leads to. So we've just created list 101 so I'm going to choose 101 to go into the list ID override. If you don't put anything here the list the leads will load but you won't find them anywhere on the system because it's, it's putting them into an abstract list. So we've got to put in the correct list ID override which is the list ID. The phone code override is going to be, in most cases, one, depending on which carrier you'd have. Uh, uh, for most cases, it'll be one. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact our support team, and we'll be more than happy to guide you in the right direction. Now, the file layout to use is going to be custom layout. This allows us to map our own fields when we're loading leads. Now, when I see fields, that means uh, you'll have uh, the first name going to the first name category, the last name and the last name, phone number to phone number, etc. Now the lead duplicate check, you have the ability to check for duplicates within the list that you're loading based on the list ID that you're adding it to, the campaign, or the entire system. If you don't want to call uh, anyone in your system more than once, regardless of which campaigns they're in, um, I would choose uh, either campaign list or entire system. But in most cases, I'd recommend the list ID, that way you're not loading the same lead into the same list twice. So after we choose that, we leave the country code default, we don't need to touch that. We simply hit submit. And then we go down to where it says uh, phone code override for this file. Now if it says processing CSV file, then you know you're doing it correctly within uh, Internet Explorer. If it says something else, if it says pipe delimited, then you're going to have issues because uh, it's not in the correct format for the browser that you're using. Now, if you'll notice, I happen to be using Firefox, yes, but this is a older version of Firefox that did not have this issue. It's the newer versions that are having this, these clashing issues with uh, the format. Now, what we want to do now is map our fields. This the, the VC dial column is the fields that the agents will see when they're logging into the system. The file data is simply the list that you're appending your leads to, or the list that you're loading into the system. Phone number is what I'd like to start off with. So I want to make sure that my phone number fields are mapped correctly. So phone number here is going to be mapped to phone in my leads list. First name is going to be first name. Uh, if I have a middle initial, I'd put it here. This list does not have a middle initial, so I leave it blank. Last name, address, you'll notice here you've got address 1, 2, and 3. Um, in most cases, you'll only be using address 1. 
Uh, if they have apartment numbers in another column, they do choose address 3, so on and so forth. So address 1 is going to be simply address. The city goes with the city. State. Now you've got province here. Um, most people, they put in county in the, in the province. Um, postal code is going to be your zip code. And if you've got other information, you can fill them in as well, such as email, which happens to be listed here. And that's all we've got in our, our file data column. And when we're done, we simply hit OK to process. And it'll give you a tally of how many leads were good, how many leads were bad, and the total amount of leads you had in there. Now, it's going to pull out all the duplicates, and it'll tell you how many uh, bad. The, the bad ones were pretty much duplicates that you had in the leads. Um, the good are how many original numbers you've got in there, and then you've got your total tally here. Once they've all been loaded, you can simply hit back to admin. And we can go to our list that we've created, 101, and we'll see all of our leads we've imported into the system right here. Now, it'll appear under the not called category, and you'll notice that the status for all of them will be new. Now, as these leads are being called, you'll notice that the statuses will be adding to uh, these columns here. So it'll show you how many busies, how many uh, not interested as your agents are pitching them, uh, so on and so forth. Now, once these leads have all been dialed, they'll all be in the called category and not called will be zero. Now, we can simply reset the list to be called again by coming back to this list and clicking where it says reset lead called status for this list located right here. We simply set that to yes, Y for yes, hit submit, and what will happen is all the leads that were called will go into the not called category to be called again. Now, just because it's in the not called category does not mean that it's automatically going to be called again. It will only be called the second time or after you've reset the list based on the dial status of the campaign. So I'm going to click here on the link that says campaign up here so I can show you what the dial status means. You'll notice we have five dial statuses here. We've got uh, no answer auto dial, we've got busy, drop, answering machine, and new leads. So these are the only leads that will be called again after the list has been reset. So if you don't want the not interested or the sales to be called again, then simply do not include it in the dial status list. So as of now, that should not be an issue. The only ones that will be called back this, uh, the next time it's reset are the uh, dial statuses that are listed here. If we'd like to add more leads to be called again after they've been reset, we simply add a new dial status here in the campaign and they'll be called uh, the second time around. So I'm going to click no answer here, hit add. And now all the leads that have that are dispositioned as no answer will now be called again because it's dialing from the dial status of no answer.